In Ray's Arithmetic today, we are moving on to Lesson 12. And just like I pointed out last time in the book, you see all the lesson numbers are written as letters, which are the Roman numeral system, and that's actually the way we write 12 in Roman numerals, XII. So I just wanted to point that out. So Lesson 12 is more of what we did in Lesson 11, which is addition. And... We'll read through them like we did before. I'll read them out loud and put the numbers here on the board as we go through these. Just to really, really get these fixed in our minds about how these addition problems work. So, let me put our line here, down the middle, <coughs> excuse me, and let's go through these. Here we go. So, 2 and 1 are 3. Let me put that right up here. 2 and 1 are 3. And likewise, 1 and 2 are 3. 1 and 2 are 3. And 2 and 2 are 4. 2 and 2 are 4. And 2 and 3 are 5. 2 and 3 are 5. 3 and 2 are 5. 3 and and 2 are 5. 2 and 4 are 6. 2 and 4 are 6. 4 and 2 are 6. Let me put those up here on the right side. 4 and 2 are 6. 2 and 5 are 7. 2 and 5 are 7. 5 and 2 are 7. 5 and 2 are 7. 2 and 6 are 8. 2 and 6 are 8. 6 and 2 are 8. 6 and 2 are 8. 2 and 7 are 9. 2 and 7 are 9. Looks like I ran out of space, so let me continue on the next board. Make our line here, and pick up where we left off. 7 and 2 are 9. 7 and 2 are 9. 2 and 8 are 10. 2 and 8 are 10. 8 and 2 are 10. 8 and 2 are 10. 2 and 9 are 11. 2 and 9 are 11. Oops. 11. 9 and 2 are 11. 9 and 2 are 11. All right. 2 and 10 are 12. 2 and 10 are 12. And 10 and 2 are 12. 10 and 2 are 12. Okay, that gets us warmed up for the word problems we're going to do now. The rest of these are some fun little addition problems. Let's start with the first one, number one. Mary had two birds, and a friend gave her two more. How many birds had she then? So Mary had two birds, so we know that much. So we put two up here. And a friend gives her two more birds. So how many birds does she have after her friend gives her one? So two and one are how many? Three. Yep. Okay, let's do number two. Daniel has three tops and Francis has two. How many tops have they both? Daniel has three tops. So let's put that up here. He has three tops, and Francis has two. So together, how many tops do they have? Three and two are five, right. Okay, three and two are five. Let's do number three. John had two chestnuts and found four more. How many did he then have? John had two chestnuts and found four more. So how many are two and four? Six. John ended up with six chestnuts. All right. Number four. Helen had five apples 
and her brother gave her two more. How many had she then? So Helen has five apples, and her brother gives her two more apples. How many apples does she have all together now? Five and two are seven, right? Okay, let's do number five. Ellen had two chickens, and her cousin gave her six more. How many had she then? Ellen had two chickens, so we'll put that here, two. Ellen had two chickens, and her cousin gave her six more. Boy, I sure hope Ellen likes eggs. Two and six are how many? Eight. Yep, two and six are eight. Okay, let's continue with the next one, number six. John had two cakes. And his mother gave him seven more. How many did he then have? So John had two cakes. And his mother, I don't know what she's thinking, but she gives him seven more cakes. So two and seven are nine. That's an awfully big birthday party. Well, that's how it works out, nine cakes. Okay, number seven. Frank had eight marbles and found two more. How many did he then have? So Frank has eight marbles, and he finds two more. So how many marbles does he have altogether? Eight and two are ten. All right. Number eight, Harry caught two fishes, and Edward caught nine. How many did both catch? So between the two of them, we got Harry, he caught two fishes, and Edward caught nine. Boy, uh, Henry, Hen, no, Edward. He is an awfully good fisherman. Okay, so how many fish did they have all together after they both finished fishing? Two and nine are how many? Eleven. Eleven fish. All right. Last problem, number nine. How many are ten cents and two cents? So ten cents. Ten looks like that. Add two more. So 10 and 2 are how many? 12. 10 and 2 are 12. Okay, well that's the end of lesson 12. We'll do some more addition in lesson 13 to get really good at it. So we'll see you on the next lesson. And meanwhile, you can go to raisearithmetic.wordpress.com or raisemath.com for more information on raise arithmetic and homeschool solutions and ideas. We'll see you later.